Ladies and gents, welcome back. So we have a lot of news this morning. So they've dug their heels in. They've dug their heels in Ottawa and the federal government. Um, now, basically, so far, if you're coming new to the story, we have a giant protest of the likes we've never seen in Canada's history uh, embarking on Ottawa to vent their frustrations, to have their grievances addressed. And the, the reaction from the political class and from the media was to, well, frankly, first to ignore them and then to ridicule them and show them in a light that they, that, that they don't cast. And uh, now, now they're at the stage of wanting to fight them. So they've dug their heels in because the, the narrative that they were trying to spin wasn't working. And to show them as bad people, people just weren't buying it. Even though they were being propagandized in the media, people were just kind of, I don't know, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't look like the situation that's actually, I, you're talking about people that I, I know. You know, you're talking about people, truck drivers? You, are you serious? Like that many of them? I don't know if that many of them can be these weird, horrible outliers that that we're being told that they are. Anyway, Ottawa digs their heels in. We have all seen this video so far of the police chief and what he had to say. But I'm just going to gonna play this once again so we can see it again for what he had to say. There is no facilitation of food, water, fuel, logistics or funding by any member of this police service or any other police service that I am aware of. Let me repeat, there is no supply of food, water, fuel, logistics, or anything else that relates to enabling this demonstration by any member of the Ottawa Police Service or any other police service that I am aware of. Should that information come to me, you can be clear, as Chief of Police in this service, I will conduct a full investigation I will use the full extent of the Police Service Act and, if relevant, the criminal code to pursue charges against such a member who would do that. There is no facility. So follow orders or else, essentially. So police officers, this is this is ramping up for what is it? Um, confiscation. And this is this is where they they jumped in. I love I love the fact that these boomers are using uh, Zoom. Um, because this is how we get this information out here for you guys. They use Zoom. People, reporters are able to get into those calls, record them, and let the world see what they're actually saying. So here's that same police chief a few days later talking about their, their tactics here. We have, through the efforts of Deputy Bell, Christian Hinault, uh, the mayor and his staff, we've been able to shut down the GoFunding program. That's a temporary reprieve because the funds are already moving in different directions. We are now going after supply and, and fuel coming into the area through investigations and intelligence operations and interdictions, all of which are, were underway yesterday, fully underway today. Uh, speaking of the um, funds moving other directions, the Give, Send, Go is now up to $4.2 million. So if you think that Support is waning for this. Uh, it is absolutely not. Moving on. Uh, after the Bouncy Castles established a beachhead, the mayor of Ottawa knew it was over and declared a state of emergency from his bunker. Yeah, this is actually the view from the ground of this protest. This is the state of emergency that we have uh, Bouncy Castles propping up. We had We had barbecues. We had celebrations. We had all kinds of people coming out to the streets with their families, kids, kids, grannies out there celebrating the uh, the movement of patriotic, freedom-loving people coming out, protesting against mandates that are all being lifted from, from countries all around the world as we speak. So they're digging their heels in over nothing. Yeah, with portable saunas, bouncy castles, Canada protests against COVID curbs gain steam in particular show of strength. So there was a poll in the Toronto Star um, 
was Ottawa right in declaring a state of emergency due to the protests? And it was an astounding 91.36% no, people have the right to protest. That's with 50,522 50, votes. So there it is right there. That's public opinion for you as opposed to what's going on um, in the offices in Ottawa. It's, a, it's this really strange circumstance where there's a, a dichotomy of what people's views are. It depends on wh what side of the parliament building uh, walls you're on. And, and that's throughout the rest of Canada as well and the world. Uh, we have this report here. Uh, the Tim Hortons manager at 30 Queen Street in Ottawa told me that his business is the best he's it's been in two years since the truckers have arrived. He said they're wonderful and they come in and mop the floors and clean the washrooms. He said, if you had a, had told me two weeks ago that the media lied to you, he's, he said, I wouldn't have believed you. He said, I've been, I've seen, I've seen it with my own eyes. What I'm seeing done by the truckers is even better by far than I could have ever imagined. And the media is not portraying this at all. And that's, again, folks, why I'm here letting you guys know this. Moving on, uh, the stormtroopers take the walk of shame. Um, as they were called in last night to remove fuel, that would be gasoline, diesel, propane, anything for these uh, protesters, truckers, freedom-loving people on the streets of Ottawa. <laughs> Shame! 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 Shame. Not, Shame! Not a welcome sight down in Ottawa Shame. today, last Shame. night. Shame! 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 Now, what they were there for was, as the police chief of Ottawa had said, uh, we, they will. They will not accept police officers uh, giving fuel, giving water, giving aid to the protesters. But now uh, that didn't work because they were self-sufficient. I mean, we've all known this since the beginning. So what they're doing is actively going in and removing fuel, as you can see here. <laughs> So, in fact, yes, they are taking fuel right away from people as they attempt to fuel their vehicles. And uh, people are surrounding the police, even though the police are actually being extremely calm and uh, cool about kind of everything, except for they're taking fuel, I guess. But uh, other than that, they're being they're being pretty respectful to everyone, considering they just got surrounded in like two seconds. So that's the scene on the ground. We have uh, we have word a little bit advice from some of the some of the um, people conducting this protest. Good evening. I'm Danny Bulford. I was a member of the RCMP for 15 years. The last eight was spent here on a full-time tactical unit where I spent the majority of my time protecting our prime minister and conducting other tactical operations. I know what a lawful arrest looks like. We know of people being arrested for helping to fuel trucks. For what offense is still unclear. Please remain calm. This is a scare tactic to coerce people into submission. They don't have a legal leg to stand on. The world is watching and this reflects very poorly on the city of Ottawa and the police services. Remain peaceful. The only thing that you are required to say if you're arrested or detained is to identify yourself. 
Every Canadian citizen has the right to equal protection under the law. Hold the line. My man, hold the line. So that that is that is the feeling on the ground. I've spoken to a few people on the ground that I know in uh, in in right in the hot of thing in the heat of things. And uh, that's that's the feeling on the ground. This sucks. What they're doing, what they're they're trying to attempt here, it it sucks. It's a, a big uh, thorn in their side, but it's only strengthening their resolve. They are not um, they're not going to move. They're not going anywhere. And that's that's the uh, the consensus down there in Ottawa. Um, another thing that I was hearing a lot of people arguing, saying, Hey, this is the streets of Ottawa. This is people's homes. This is where they are. This is where they live. The municipal municipality pays for these roads, all of this stuff. And uh, so I was curious about that. So I, I, I decided to do a little bit of digging. And I found this article from 2012 uh, from the National Post. And it's talking about um, the federal money that Ottawa is is was pushing to get uh, at the time. It said they're... City rushing to put together a lot, list of shovel-ready construction projects in case the federal government shows up with a lot of money that has to be spent fast. Because, you know, this is how government works. They they get a budget, and if they, if they spend less than that budget, they have to next time lower the budget to that, to that cap where they spent, they, they had spent. Now, so if they, and they're always looking for increases, so they have to spend every penny. So in order to spend every penny, they look to spend money fast at the end of these things. It's not about fiscal conservative anything here. It's about blow the cash, blow the cash. So Ottawa has been ready for ages. The city has spent nearly $400 million in three years on new roads, transit improvements, sidewalks, repairs, renovations, libraries, in- Recreation centers, they included once-in-a-generation jobs like replacing traffic lights that have flashing green to tell drivers that they can turn left with ones that have green arrows that simply, to simple simple things that can sit on a to-do list for years, waiting for money once they're done, they're done. Now, that's, that's federal money. So if federal money is going into building the streets of Ottawa, then... Anyone in Canada has the right to the streets of Ottawa, our nation's capital. Yes, it is your town, but it is our nation's capital. So there is that. And I, today, today I'm going to leave it on this note. First, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you. And then you win. And that was brought to you by Mahatma Gandhi. Just think about that one. I'll let you stew on that and keep on trucking.